Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my 5 month update for my Nova year. So 2019 is for me a beauty replacements only Nova year and a Loba year what comes to everything else. And this time there will be some changes coming because not everything is working in my Nova rules for me at this point of my life. So I need to do some changes. But first let me tell you what my rules for my Nova year are. So what comes to beauty products and this is what I am talking about the most here on my channel because obviously my channel is a beauty channel. 2019 is for me a beauty replacements only Nova year meaning that I can only buy replacement items if I finish my old staples. Now my no by year is not like the most strict one and I'm going to give just one example of that. I am allowing for myself two foundations. One full coverage foundation and one natural foundation because both of those foundations are something that I use on very different days. Like if I'm going to work early in the morning I'm not going to wear a full coverage foundation. However when I'm filming if I'm going out with my husband or something else like that in those cases I do want to wear a full coverage long wearing foundation. So both of those two foundations are staples in my collection and even if I do finish one of those I will give myself a permission to buy a new one even if I do have the another foundation left. So that is just one example because I know many people who are doing no by yours only allow like the one of each type of products but there is a list of all different categories that I cannot buy at all and that kind of products are eyeshadows, cheek products, lip products, except lip liners if I really finish a shade that is a necessary shade to wear a similar color lipstick but lipstick, lip glosses, nail polish, different things like this are something that I cannot buy at all during the year and then the rest of the stuff I can replace it if I need it and the thing is that I do constantly run out of products. For example, what comes to my skincare, I only have the products that are in my current skincare routine. I don't have any backups. So of course, when I'm starting to be low on something, I can purchase the new product. And then what comes to clothing and other things in my life, I have allowed myself to purchase three pieces of clothing during one month and then one random item. I decided to do the clothing low buy because I do work in a clothing store and I have been spending too much money on clothing and I have been buying clothes more than I really want to. And the random things low buy I started because I just wanted to kind of like be sure that my shopping problems, my shopping addiction will not just transfer to another category, for example to home decoration. My beauty replacements only no buy is going to be how it has been. I'm not going to change any rules, but I need to do some changes to my clothing low buy. So let's actually start with that one. As I told in my April's no buy update, I did break my clothing low by 10. It was going quite well, but then I bought a couple of pairs of shoes and then I bought some underwear and I purchased more than three things. I think I purchased like seven things. I was kind of nervous about May and how it's going to go with my clothing low by because I know myself when I break rules once, it's pretty likely that I'm going to do it again. And I must say that my clothing low buy was going quite good until it became my payday in the end of the month and my two weeks of summer leave started at the same day. So currently now that I'm filming I am on a summer leave but yeah it was my payday and the summer leave was starting and I had been really really stressed out about work and I was kind of like I have earned some summer clothes and I bought some things so that I actually bought more than three items in May. And yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed because I could have waited like one more week, little bit over a week 
and then purchase a couple of things so I would have not broken my low buy. And another reason why I am a little bit disappointed is that I got work clothes in May. So a couple of times a year workers will get work clothes with certain amount of money. And May was a work clothes month and I picked some summer pieces and even still I broke my low buy. So that is maybe what I am the most disappointed at. But this clothing low buy is clearly not working for me right now and you know I don't want to have kind of like another disappointing month so I will do some changes. The fact just is that as long as I do work in a clothing store I don't think it's really realistic for me to try to be kind of like a minimalist with my closet. I mean that would be so ideal to have like a little bit more minimal closet with beautiful pieces that all go well <laughs> together with each other and I think that if I will ever change a job or change a career I will probably go much more towards being a minimalistic with my closet but right now I just don't think it's that realistic and to be honest I have been thinking about changing a career a little bit lately I'm not sure yet and I don't want to make any rushed decisions and I don't, you know, kind of like want to talk about my private life that much here on my channel but but I guess I can kind of like tell you a little bit about my situation so I do work in a clothing store as I told you I don't want to tell you in which company but I do really much enjoy my job and one thing I know is that if I'm going to continue working in retail I do want to work in the company that I do work for right now however I do have like a temporary contract so I don't have a permanent contract. Like right now I do have my contract till September this year and after that I really don't know what's going to happen and I think the biggest possibility what's going to happen is that my work contract won't be continued because I'm replacing currently someone who is on maternity leave and she will be back in September. So because of that and because of overall need of employees is not as high right now. I'm pretty sure that my contract won't be continued anymore. So what this means for me is that I won't be completely without a job but I will work with kind of like a zero type of contract where I won't have any planned hours but if needed I may get asked to go to work and you know I can probably make enough money to pay my rent and my food and the gas barely if I have that type of situation going on but I think it's really stressful first of all I cannot really plan things ahead if I get called to work in the morning I need to go there if I want to make a living and yeah I find it's a really stressful arrangement to be in and at this age I don't think that is what I want to do. I don't know, that's kind of like the main thing why I have really been kind of like thinking about doing something else and I have been thinking what I'm going to do kind of like with my life. I will turn 27 the day after tomorrow actually, probably today when you will see this video. So on Sunday 2nd of June is my birthday and I will turn 27. I think at this age I really should be thinking about the future, what I'm going to do, not only like how I'm going to kind of like make the living for this month or the next month because currently I feel that's kind of like the case. and. My current situation is like a little bit unstable and unsecure and my husband and I one day we would like to buy a house, maybe get a family, we are not completely sure about children yet but you know at least I feel this current situation is not at all ideal to have, have children or buy a house and anyways I do have some old debt that I'm paying away currently so it's not like right now that I could even do these things but in future yes and I just don't know if I if my current job is 
providing me kind of like enough security to do that. I think this video is starting to be quite deep, but you know, that, that was just kind of like my reasons why I really have been thinking about what should I do with my life. To be honest, I, I'm not sure. I do have a job that I really do like and I just don't want to leave. But then again, I need to think about my future. Anyways, the fact is that at least for the rest of the summer, I will be working in a clothing store and limiting my purchases to only three pieces is just not working for me right now. So what I'm going to do from now on is that I'm going to set myself a clothing budget, so I'm going to give myself a certain amount of money, probably 50 euros, but I still need to think about that. And another thing I want to say is that from now on I'm not going to talk the clothing low by anymore or clothes in general. And the reason to that is that because I do work in a clothing store, it's really difficult to for me to talk about clothes without talking about my job and I find that recently, like during this year, I have been talking about my job more than I would like to here on my channel. So I'm trying to be a smarter consumer of clothes but I have decided not to talk about it anymore here on my channel. Another thing is that I don't think it's for me necessary to continue my random things low by anymore. So as I told you I have allowed myself to purchase one random thing in a month during this year and the things that I have bought have been like a new battery to my camera, a belt that I can put my phone to when I work out, an ebook, these kind of things I have been buying. But I really don't feel a need to kind of like limit myself. I just don't feel there is like anything where I will kind of like transfer my shopping problems. I'm not like that much into decorating. I mean, I do like it when it's beautiful at my home, but it's not like I'm all the time buying candles or something else that I should limit myself. Yeah, and another thing is that I don't know if any of you are interested of me like talking about random things I buy. At least I wouldn't care if somebody decided to buy a new battery to their camera or an ebook or whatever. I just don't think it's something I want to talk about my channel anymore. So because of the changes that I have made to my clothing low buy and to my random things low buy, there will only be the beauty replacements only no buy. For now I have been doing two no buy related videos. So I have been doing these monthly no buy updates and then I have been doing the monthly replacement hauls. And because now I'm not talking about clothes or random things anymore here on my channel, I decided to film only one no buy video a month. So I will in one video update you about my no buy year and how I'm feeling about it, if I have had any temptations, if there is something else. And I decided that in the same video I'm also going to share with you my replacement products. I must say that in the beginning of the year I was also struggling a little bit with my beauty replacements only. No buy, like I was buying stuff before I actually needed it. So my solution to that was that in April I started to tell you the products that I will need to purchase the next month. But to be honest, I feel currently I am with my no buy year in a place where I don't need to tell you in advance which products I do need or don't need. So yeah, that is one big change that is coming to my beauty replacements only no by year. Instead of two videos, there will be one video with everything in the video. And this is the last month when I'm going to film the two separate videos because I wanted to just sit down and explain my reasons why I'm not going to continue my clothing low by year. And actually what comes to my beauty replacements only no buy, it's going really good. I feel May has been like a month where I just, I don't have any urge to buy really anything. And even some products that I told in my April's replacements haul video that I will need to buy in May, I haven't bought. One example is that I was planning to get a new C palette because I wanted to depot some of my palettes but I didn't get it. 
I'm actually going to show this to you. This is my current C palette and I have deposited some palettes there, like all of these square shaped eyeshadows are from the balm. Then I do have some shimmery shadows that I have deposited from the balm and from Pacifica and also I do have here some Makeup Geek singles. So as you can see there is really not much room at all and basically I cannot really depot eyeshadows anymore to this palette. And you know I was thinking about getting another shea palette so I could put my matte eyeshadows to one palette and then my shimmery eyeshadows to another palette but you know I decided that I don't need to do it really I wanted to depot my Juvia's Place Tattoos palette but then I thought about it again and although I do not like the color story of that palette and I find it difficult to create looks using only that palette I don't need to depot it right now, like I can leave it the palette. Anyways, that palette has already been in my Shop My Shadows rotation. I'm probably not going to use it until next year again, so why should I depot it now? There is no reason whatsoever. So maybe I will get a new C palette later, but right now I don't need it. Yeah, I feel it has been going really good with my beauty replacements only now by. And I have bought some replacements and you know I did kind of like set myself some sort of a budget like I told you in my last replacements haul video that I would like to spend maximum 100 euros to replacements during one month but my replacements in May were over 100 euros but the fact is that cosmetics costs money and as I told in the very beginning of the video for example skincare I don't have backups. If I finish a skincare product, I will need to buy a new one and everything adds up. And yeah, that is why I had to spend more than 100 euros. But the financial thing is not that big. Like, my world is not ending if I spend 150 euros over 100 euros. But you know, overall, I do want to be smarter with my money and try to buy affordable stuff if possible and not buy any unnecessary things for example eyeshadows or C palettes like honestly that's not something I really need but then if I finish a skincare product of course I'm going to buy it because it's good for my skin so yeah that is how my beauty replacements only know by is going I don't have any temptations at all well one thing was that I was waiting was the Gemini palette from BH Cosmetics so they have been doing this zodiac sign themed eyeshadow palettes each month and until June I liked all of the palettes like I know that some people called the Capricorn palette boring because it was kind of like a beige top type of palette but I think it was like cohesive and pretty however the Gemini palette I think it was like straight up ugly like it was the color story was so awful like it was all over the place I can actually show you a picture of it so I was waiting to see what kind of Gemini palette they do because I am Gemini but when I saw this palette I was like no thanks I was almost relieved because I knew it's not going to try my no buy like I know that's not something I would ever buy and I think it's a little bit unfortunate that they made a palette as ugly as that like I'm sorry usually I'm not this hard on makeup products but I, I just don't get it like my biggest problem with this palette is how the color story is just like all over the place and Gemini is a sign of air so I would maybe have loved to see a little bit that in it so that was the only thing I was really kind of like waiting for to see but yeah when I saw it I'm not interested whatsoever. There is some things that I'm thinking of purchasing after my no buy year, but I'm actually planning to do kind of like a no buy wish list video in June, where I will talk about the things I'm wanting right now, and then I want to come back to watch the video when my no buy year is actually over, because I think that most of the things that I do want right now, I won't even want when the no buy year is over. But yeah, that's how it's going really good in my opinion. Like, 
I feel with beauty stuff, I'm starting to be where I want to be. With clothing, I still need to figure out a way to be a smarter consumer, but it makes it a little bit difficult that I just don't find it comfortable about talking about my job here on my channel. So I need to figure it out myself. But from now on, the No By Update and the Beauty Replacements will be in one video. But that was everything for today. I hope you understand my decision about the clothing low buy and I hope you're not too disappointed. But yeah, then again, this is kind of like my life, my current job situation and I need to do something that works for me right now. And that something that I don't need to be kind of like disappointed with myself over and over because that is how I have been feeling of breaking my low buy for two months straight with clothes. Anyways, that was everything for today. Thank you so much for all of you for watching this video. Your support means the world to me. So yeah, that's everything. Thank you. Bye bye.